maybe it can be interesting. It's interesting that to know that this works, this method works on certain basic setups, right? Maybe it will fail depending on the rig, but in this case, this will work. So highlight. Let's start here, folks. So uh, there is a big problem here. Something happened to the rig, my rigged model, that the model sheet, you see, that I have here, it, uh, we don't see very well, we need to get the proper, select the grease pencil object, then we going to look at the, not the viewport, but the, here, this data tab, and then I want to look at precisely the, yeah, so the cloth, the costume, we don't want so just more about the body and okay so we can already see from the side the body is not too much relevant here but yes so what's happening is that something happened to oops, something happened to my model that uh, i didn't touch the model sheet what i touched was the was the something about the armature or the yeah, the skeleton or the mesh, something made the head uh, warp upwards, you see? So it's sort of de not detached from the rest, but it sort of moved up with all of the features of the head. So this is very, very nightmarish. I think that happened because something regarding iKey and maybe some wrong application of you, saw, you see something, maybe something like that. But I was using some eye key on the spine uh, and connected parenting uh, for the bones of the spine. And that happens that if I move this up, of course not in here, but on pose mode, this will, well, I can even do that because the parent is connected, but it will move all the rest up like in a chain uh, in a very specific way. So we can't see this here. And yeah, so I don't, I, I just cannot reproduce it, but understand that, uh, understand that, that this messed up, whatever, whichever thing that happened, whatever that happened, messed up with my whole rig. And now I've tried to fix it by calculating uh, the distance and I have to do this again. So what I'm going to do is fix this nightmare. Uh, by selecting all the objects, all the meshes, whichever, and moving partially the mesh of the body, which contains the head, upwards uh, to the amount that it requires. So you see, I have this signing here, this 3D cursor is already pinpoints where the, the joint of the neck and the head should be, but actually this should be, it wasn't enough. And I'll actually, you see the drawing, we don't see very well, but the neck it will be here and here. So I need to, also let's make sure I'm looking at the right, yeah, so this will be the right one. Okay, folks, so I need to push back, pull back the neck maybe and push up the, the whole thing. So it doesn't need to be perfect because this height, then there's the... And then the top of the, you see, the top, the head is still not on the, right? So we can, uh, we need to improve this. So maybe I'll need to use this uh, wire wireframe viewport display type. Anyways, we use this, it will be simpler. So to solve this nightmare, I don't know. Uh, uh, any other way because there are too many things involved right in this case but i already fixed that once and it worked so let's go and solve this nightmarish things maybe this can help um another condition so i'll actually let's yeah let's disable this for now and sorry it's a bit confusing but uh this is <laughs> a confusing thing pretty night pretty daunting thing I was scared to mess up everything. So what we need and hide all the mesh of the body uh, and hide because we'll deform, well, not deform, we'll, we'll get a threshold of mesh here. 
we can temporarily hide this that is the mesh that was affected so all this mesh was affected uh, and so i'm gonna exclude the breast region because this we can solve later uh, if so it's more about the shoulders that need to raise up because they also were affected uh, something about the bone of the spine or maybe yeah some bone of the lower of the spine below the shoulders connection then it moved everything down at some point and that's what uh, that's why i'm having to fix this now in this terrible <laughs> nightmarish way okay so okay i have this mesh selected and i can try to solve this will mess up every, uh, a lot of other things but that's so that's okay so uh here i'm going to calculate a gz on global um the amount of so 0 0.087 meters 0 0.082 oh i 0 0.082 all right and click then here uh from the side i think that this time this will be enough this time i'll make sure that i compare properly yes so this is already good then i'm gonna move y because why not <laughs> since i've spotted that this can improve this although those who can hmm. okay so uh maybe this is yeah this looks good so i think i just this just this thing for the mesh of the body which is the only thing that we need to go on edit mode then i'm gonna pick all of the elements so uh now actually <laughs> the armature gone edit mode if uh, sorry i was mistaken the armature which affects everything as a whole should be okay let's use this select all okay let's unhide all of the bones and now again let's make a selection because i want to move everything in sync here um there's a question which bones should i include or exclude from this thing so i think if i deselect these ones and move up let's see what happens yeah um indeed so i probably want to be moving yeah these bones here oh there are some okay that's uh, oh the hair okay this is also important um this is for the arm yeah and this is the torso this doesn't need there's a master bone or uh no this is the it's a master bone uh center of gravity i guess okay so this is stretching these two bendy bones the control and the deformed bone and from the front so you see how complicated that gets so uh now now i'm gonna gz positively on the 0 0.082 right and those other numbers value i think that they are irrelevant because maybe later i've just repositioned some bones and whatever so it doesn't these minor details are irrelevant i think because the armature and the mesh in most cases it's not perfectly matching any absolute value is just some approximation right the bones positioning except for certain very specific uh, positioning right folks so here this seems to be working fine but it's not over because we moved all that uh, some parts of the cloth yeah some other objects might have been messed up like the eyes so now we need to now the body and the armature the body mesh object was solved the armature was solved and now uh, fortunately this is not causing a lot of problem for the appearance right uh, there's nothing in the mouth 
here. So it's just the eyes. Let's enable all these. To, so I'm gonna move all these objects, all of them, and all of the hair. Hold sh control and then hold shift. Um, okay. All free to here. Let's also. So here only certain clots really require this thing. Oh yes, indeed. So actually, okay, this pingent, these things are for the head. So I'm gonna move these objects. And then for the shirt and manteau, we'll go on edit mode and do the same thing for the body. I forgot that folks. So GZ 0.082. So these objects will make sure, right? If we go back, you see, it fixes the, the face, all right? Uh, in the minimum details that were needed. Then here, the other parts of the lower parts of the cloth, so they don't, they are not affected. So I need to now get, maybe hide everything. Just want the shirt and this, so, here do more or less the same thing. So I pick this and this. Uh, yeah, we need to go on X-ray. Select vertices. Let's make sure we get everything from W. I've made a, the default here box selection. All right. That will go about here. So same idea. After I have to remake some readjust something some stuff about the about the the clot rigging so uh, I'm not really it's not really problematic right now so just fix a little more here so GZ 0.082 I've written that on a piece of paper and there we go so I'm not sure this looks a bit weird but it should be working all right, <laughs> so this is really, really annoying. So, um, but now I've sort of rematched this madness. Yeah, uh, this is details that I can adjust manually the mesh. So this is not a big problem. But the height were so different, and the problem is the mesh. The rig, the model was rigged already, so all the bones, everything, um, and it was not the whole body, just parts of the body, right? Just the head and the tor upper torso, the arms and the head, so, and then hair, you you name it, right? Eyes feature. So this is the highlight, folks. <laughs> Maybe this will help someone. So this is nightmarish and finally solved. Let's save here. on the same strip uh, little mistake here folks for the I you see the origins of these objects that I've moved up they are they were messed up so we need to make them selectable include this hold control not the body and then in principle I just want to set origin to three D cursor. No, uh, there's still oh I forgot one of them. No, they were. Okay, let's see. Oh, the hair. Okay, I, I forgot the hair. So, sorry, folks. There we go. Then, set origin to 3D curves. Okay, and that seems to be fine. Uh, there transforms right also 
Ó. Location zero, everything seems to be fine, so what's Okay, we got some apply all transforms. That should fix anything wrong here and this also seems all correct now. And for Yes, and uh, that's it, folks.